Hyman. Thank you very briefly to um, what everything my colleagues has said, but what is everyone going to do when you leave here tonight? After we have good wishes and and make decisions, are you going to go home and donate? And I think that's the question that everyone has to ask in the face of the tragedy. We know how resilient and strong Haiti is. Are you going to go back to Haiti and make sure you volunteer to be the architects and the engineers that make sure that if this happens again, those homes are resilient? That is what we have to talk about. We have to talk about TPS and our, our Sanders said he's going to do everything he can possibly do to make sure it happens. But we want to make sure that Haiti stands, continues to stand strong. Some of the best and brightest are here and I get to work with him every day in the New York State Assembly. And I know Clyde will go back. He'll fly back if he has to. You know he's a pilot. He'll fly back to make sure that that country continues to be resilient and continues to stand strong and continues to have that spirit of independence and not dominance by other world nations. We know Haiti is a strong nation and Elsie will give us our marching orders and what we have to do. But when you leave here tonight, it's not just good wishes, it's the action you put behind those good wishes to make sure that Haiti comes back. Thank you very much. I'm Assemblywoman Alicia Hines. Thank you so much, Assemblymember. We'll now hear from the local council member, Barry Gredenchik. Good evening, everybody. I share this street with my brother, Danique Miller. And I'm here tonight to let the people of Haiti know that you are not alone. I'm not Haitian, I don't look Haitian, I don't sound Haitian, and my family was from the Bronx, Senator, but that's okay, my wife's family's from there. But I'm here to let you know, just as the moon revolves around the earth every 28 days or so, that we will be here for you, that you're not alone, that we live in the most diverse county all the counties in the United States of America and probably in all the places led by our great borough president Donovan Richards Jr. that you are not alone. I'm here tonight because I wanted you to know that. That we care about you. That our Haitian brothers and sisters led by my brother Clyde Vanell, are not alone. And that the people of Queens and the people of this community especially, all of them, stand with Haiti in their time of need. Thank you. God bless you all. And remember, please, what my sister Alicia Hyman said, when you go home tonight, you make that decision. You make that decision, put the plastic down, and do the right thing. Thank you, and God bless you all. We'll now hear from Council Member I, Danique Miller. This is Leslie family. Thank everybody for coming out. Thank you, Borough President, uh, for putting this together, and Elsie and Hope for the work that you do, and uh, for, bringing, for bringing us all here today. Um, and let me just say my doors are uh, open. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Bestow mercy, mercy and peace upon the hand of the people. And that is my doors. So today. Um, we are here once again uh, on behalf of the people in the island of Haiti. But let me just say, as we, we were saying time and time again, this work, and again, even beyond 2010, this work that has continued, right? And, and so we were concerned about whether people want to walk away tonight and, and continue to be a part of this movement. Let me just say that you don't develop and, and cultivate relationships in moments of crisis. Right? This is the work that we've done with hope that we've done here in Southeast Queens with the Haitian community for, for the better part of a decade that, that I've been directly involved with, with, with immigration services and the work that we've done with TPS and, and the, all the rest of that. And so we know that this work will absolutely continue. We're not new to it, we're true to it. We are true to Haiti. We are true to the people that are here in Southeast Queens. We have great leadership. We have a great collaboration public and private, and we're going to continue to do this work. I just want to leave with the value and the importance of, of everybody being here today. And, you know, I woke up Sunday morning and I'm doing chores and I'm doing these things and, and MSA 
MSNBC is on and, and, and CNN is on. This is what we listen to. We get our information to, right? Time and time again. This is four hours in, and I can hear a bill without hate. Right? This work happens here. The people that are committed to the island and the country of Haiti are the folks that are right here, right now, and throughout the diaspora. So let's all commit to that. Let's continue to it. Regardless of what happens, we can talk about the resiliency, but the work has never stopped and won't stop. So the prayers are with us tonight for, for, for Haiti and the Haitian folks, but the work must continue. Okay. Thank you, Council Member. We will now have Assembly Member Weprin. Thank you. I don't know what I can add. Um, almost everything uh, has been said, and uh, of course, uh, I agree with my colleagues uh, that we uh, we have to do everything we can. Uh, and it starts uh, right away uh, with with sending uh, Haiti the uh, the money that they need in this in this time of need. Uh, my heart is is very heavy as well. I have a lot of Haitian constituents, and uh, I stand in solidarity. Uh, with my brothers and sisters uh, of Haitian descent, uh, as well as my constituents uh, of Haitian descent uh, with our condolences. But more than that, uh, we really have to come together. And I want to thank uh, Borough President Richards uh, for once again uh, bringing us together, uh, this time in tragedy, but also in hope uh, and in solidarity. Haiti uh, will come back stronger than ever. Thank you, and thank you, my colleague uh, Clyde Vanell, uh, for your leadership. Thank you, Assembly Member. We'll now hear from Council Member Adrian Adams. Thank you so much uh, to my brother Donovan Richards, all of us here today, my colleagues, particularly to Hope and to Sister Elsie. You know, um, this happens to be personal for me. My daughter-in-law is Haitian, so I have adopted Haitian family. And as I have seen them through uh, a tragedy just a few years ago, and Brother Clyde Fidel just spoke about this, here we are standing again. But I, I just want to say something. I'm going to be brief. I just want to say that while we do stand in mourn, we do stand in sorrow, we stand in strength. Yeah. We stand in resiliency. We stand in pride. We stand in triumph. We stand in faith that is unwavering and never dying and never ceasing. We stand in the power of unity and unification for a people that stood up for their land when no other people would stand up for their land. We stand for courage today as we support our brethren of Haiti. And so my words just come as they, as they normally do. They just flow like water because that is the power of that who I serve. Man. We come in the power of the people and the power of brotherhood and sisterhood and once again of unity and unification that no matter what happens that transcends every tragedy because out of tragedy comes triumph and out of this tragedy once again will come triumph haiti does not need our prayers to rise haiti has risen President Donovan Richards for bringing us all together. My name is Khalil Anderson and I represent the 31st District, which is a beautiful mosaic of Queens. And while tonight is a solemn occasion, I want us to uh, bring to light the convergence of, of disasters that uh, our beautiful island nation of Haiti, although 
11 years removed from the original crisis in 2010, the aftershocks of the catastrophic tragedy that Haiti has faced over the last 11 years are still being felt by the people today. And many of my constituents, as I said, in the 31st district are of Haitian American descent. And this is our moment to not just be in support and uplift our Haitian brothers and sisters, but also recognize the rich, revolutionary past and history of the Haitian American people. Their independence, but recognize that in this moment, when they're asking us to reach out for a hand of support, that we uplift and we support all of our community members in this moment and support our brothers and sisters in Haiti. I'm committed to making sure that we recover from this crisis in this moment, our Haitian brothers and sisters, but that we provide mental health awareness trainings for our Haitian brothers and sisters, and that we send resources if we have them. Just like my colleague, Assemblywoman Hyman said, after this candlelight vigil, we have to make sure that we maintain a commitment to our Haitian brothers and sisters, uh, and there's no better way to do that than to send support uh, and be in community with our Haitian brothers and sisters. Thank you again. Uh, Borough President Richards, thank you, uh, Assemblymember Vanell, and an amazing partner, uh, colleague in the Haitian American community. Thank you all for being here in solidarity with our Haitian American brothers and sisters. Thank you, Assemblymember. We would also like to acknowledge State Senator John Liu had joined us previously this evening. Next, we'll hear from Councilmember Selvina Prince Powers. Uh, uh, and good evening. My name once again is Sylvina Brooks Powers representing the 31st Council District. First, I'd like to um, recognize our Borough President Donovan Richards, my friend, my good friend, Assembly Member Clyde um, Brunel, as well as my colleagues that are here today. You know, just really echoing the sentiments that were shared earlier. Haiti is the most resilient nation island that exists on this globe. The history is rich, and as a sister of the Caribbean diaspora, I sit in awe at how resilient the people of Haiti continue to be. Every time something catastrophic happens to try and tear down the people, they stand with their, their shoulders back and their heads high. And this is another opportunity that in some cases, some of us would want to retreat. But they show us once again just how strong they are as a people. And right now is a time that we must do our part. And that includes the action that, that was mentioned countless times this evening, but it also includes the humanitarian aspect of it. Checking in on our brothers and sisters that are of Haitian descent or that are in Haiti. Making sure that they are okay. The mental health aspect we need to focus on also because this is extremely traumatic. Talking to some of my friends, some of my dearest friends, who are Haitian born and Haitian American and just listening to the loss that they have endured because of this most recent earthquake. We need to take a moment and step back and remember these are people whose lives right now are going through such devastation and make sure that they're okay. Pick up a phone tonight and call and ask, how are you doing? How can I help? And listen and then act. I will continue to work with my partners in government um, and my staff to ensure that we are doing what we can to connect the people in Haiti with resources and make sure that we are providing the support that's necessary here in New York City to the Haitian American community. The city recently um, launched a mental health website, creating a, a portal where um, New Yorkers are able to access services um, nearby. And so please continue to pray for the people in Haiti, but more so let us act and support them to get through this moment. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Councilmember Brooks Powers. We just want to remind folks that we are accepting um, donations and we